Hi, my name's Ian Robertson. I work for SSM, Sustainable Soil Management. We're an independent business working throughout the UK and Europe, really enabling farmers to understand their soils better. So we have a service that covers much more detailed soil testing, understanding about the physics, the chemistry and the biology. And then we also link that to practical advice on farm that will cover nutrient inputs, rotations, cover crops, cultivations, fertilizers, manures, etc. Trying to get a holistic approach from the bottom up into full-time agronomy. Our real aim is to get farmers to understand their soils better. How we do that is based on really detailed chemical soil analysis that alludes to the physics and the chemistry of the soil. In simple terms, enables us to understand why my soil performs like it does. It's too easy in our view to say, oh, the soil is this, the soil is that. Actually, if we understand the chemical side of it, we understand why the soil is this, and why the soil is that, and that enables us to manage it better. And when I say management better, it is all about rotation. It could be inputs, it could be cover crops, it could be cultivations, drainage, all sorts of things. There's a massive amount of information that we get from a detailed soil test that allows us to understand and make differences to the farm. And in doing that, that allows us to drive the whole system forward. And it's not just about driving for more yield, it's more about nutrient use efficiency or even land use efficiency, because how much of a soil are we actually utilising when we're farming at the moment? The beauty of what we're doing is it's very detailed. However, it fits really well with precision farming systems because if you've got your soils mapped with things like TerraMap, etc., you can highlight areas that are particularly performing well or maybe not performing well. And from there, we can drill in deeper by doing these more detailed soil tests and really understand why that area is performing really well or not so well. And then make changes, but the changes we're talking about are practical changes. There's no silver bullet that we're going to pull out of our bag and say, look, you must use this, because until we do the detailed soil testing, we've got no idea what's required. Anyway, we're meant to be at Groundswell, but this is taking its place. And so what I thought I'd do, a little bit of explanation about what we do. Um, the starting point is really a meeting with the farmer, the owner of the land, to talk about what their aspiration for their soils are. What are they trying to do? And with that, that enables us to then understand how we can then take the soils forward. The first thing we really do to get inside the soil is do some physical inspections using things like the trusty spade. Great simple tool, works every time. And then we will go and take more detailed soil tests that look at things like the cation exchange, bulk density, nutrient availability, organic matters, things like active carbon. And the active carbon is a very interesting one because it's not all about raw organic matter, it's about how that organic matter is cycling within the soil. So once we've taken a few soil tests, we can then sit down with a farmer grower, look at what the soil tests are telling us, and that enables us to understand how, why that soil is performing, to then make the best use of either the reserves they've got or any inputs we can use. Wherever possible, we will try and facilitate the soil to deliver more to us, rather than simply saying, oh, you want to buy X, Y, Z and put more nutrition on. Because most of the soils in the UK that we're testing have adequate supplies of nutrition, they're just not in a readily available form. And farming practice today allows us to change what we're doing to make those nutrients become more available. And the changes can be quite quick, or they can be two, three, four, five, six years of changes, which includes cultivations, rotations, cover crops, manure managements, all those type of things come into play. So what we're really talking about today, really detailed soil offering that's tailored to each individual grower, that's unique to each individual grower, to make differences on that farm. Music